working with clients and designers on allocating space in these halls for the conversion. I felt like we needed to really understand better uh, which systems we wanted to keep, which ones we wanted to take out, and how to best utilize these vessels. So typically, you have an existing uh, deck house here in Bridge on the commercial vessel, and you have your crew quarters, and you have your galley, you have uh, HVAC systems, you have waste systems, you have walk-in fridge and freezers. That represents all systems and, and, and indeed some of the space usage that you're going to want in your expedition yacht. And so the smart thing to do is keep as much of that as possible, if not all of it, and then incorporate what you want for your expedition yacht as additional accommodations. Um, going aft here, of course, is all open space to be built on in the expedition conversion. And it's pretty much plug and play. I mean, this can be a touch and go helipad here, or this can be uh, a commercially certified helipad with refueling and a hangar with a, with a lift going down. Um, underneath here, it can be a dive center. It can be all sorts of things, and we'll get into that. Uh, and on almost all of these vessels, you want to have a variety of tenders and toys for different weather conditions and different places that you go on your expeditions. And you can swap out, you know, here's, here's a tender here that's uh, utilitarian and probably operates very well in Arctic uh, climates. And then you've got open vessels that you may not want to take to the Arctic. And a lot of people refer to these as pickup trucks, but this is a pickup truck with a huge basement. So obviously you've got the engine room down there, but you've also got space once you remove the mud tanks where you can put a cinema, you can put a tender garage with a side opening. Um, that is incredibly useful space. So the nice thing about these vast aft decks, aside from the uh, nice clean open space, is that they are heavy load bearing. And a very important thing about these offshore commercial vessels is that they're very beamy. So for the purpose of our discussion here, we're looking at a 220 foot hull. Um, the 240 foot and the 260 foot are basically the same configuration on the bow and it's an extension added to the stern. And that gives you not only uh, deck space that you can use for all sorts of things, but it also gives you volume in the hull. 